Hi guys, Janelle Novello with the Expressions Art Room and I am doing my first scale project with my kiddos and I really want these drawings to come out nice so I've decided that I am going to pre-grid the images for the kids so that they can just focus on making an enlarged grid on the paper. So I thought I'd share how to do this. First what you're going to do is with whatever image you're going to use you'll simply copy and paste it. Copy and then you're going to paste it onto a Google drawing. All right, so drawing. When you're in drawing, you're simply going to paste the image there. At that point, you're going to need to decide the size if you're working with a portrait or landscape. So I'm working with portraits. I'm going to crop my image into a basic rectangular shape that would work well on standard 9 by 12 paper. And so I might have to finagle it just a little bit to get the right proportions. And I cropped it with the crop tool. Once you get the size, then you'll simply click enter. From there, you're going to right click and format your picture. First, you're going to format the size. I'm going to do a four and a half by six and use a one to two ratio so that it applies to a nine by 12. So I'm simply doing four and a half inches by six inches. You may also want to uh, play around with the adjustments on your brightness to make sure that all of the image details are apparent for your kids so that it's easier for them to transfer the details. Once you're done with that, then it's time to add your grid. So you would go to insert, table, and I need a four across and six down, six long grid, four by six, but then I resize it to fit over my four and a half by six image. And then it is ready to print. So easy, and that way, when I'm starting off with a proportion project, I can give them a pre-gridded image that I know is accurate and have them practice their gridding skills on their actual project paper. My next step after this might be having them grid their image themselves, but getting the right size and the right grid on that image is really crucial for a very successful gridded project. I hope this helps.